welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to cover the solution to this question and uh, do some live coding work. At the same time, I'm trying to follow the general steps you should follow in a coding interview when trying to solve this problem. So before we start the real content for today, I would really appreciate that if you can help subscribe to this channel. So first of all, let's try to register this question. So there's a logger system that uh, receives the streams of the messages uh, along with their timestamps. So each of the unique messages should only be printed at most every 10 seconds. So a message printed at timestamp T will prevent other identical messages from being pre printed until timestamp T plus 10. So all the messages will come in chronolo chronological order. So several messages may arrive at the same time step. So implement the logger clause. The logger contains the constructor initializing the logger object and also an API expose called a should print message. Returns true if the message should be printed in the given timestamp, otherwise we are just going to return false. So let's see some constraints. The timestamp is anywhere between zero to a billion. So Every timestamp will be passed in non decreasing order, and uh, the message, the length of the message is anywhere between 1 to 30, and almost uh, 10k calls will be made to should print message. So, having said that, uh, not too much of the room to think about edge case at currently, so let's think about how to solve this problem. So, what we could do is we could use a hash map. So the hash map uh, is, so the map, the key of the map is going to be the message itself and the value is going to be integer which is the, I would say which is the last printed timestamp of the message. So for example, let's say we have suppose we have the map which has the message here and the the last printed timestamp is one so suppose a message with timestamp with as two comes in then we are just going to return false for it otherwise let's say if, it, if the same message with the timestamp as 11 comes in then what we could do is we can return true and of course we need to update this map the the value of the message to be 11. So that's pretty much it, and uh, the runtime for the should print uh, is going to be all of one uh, because the lookup for the map and the update for the map is just going to be all one operation. So having said that, uh, let's do some coding work on top of it. So for this one, we are going to define a private member, which is uh, which we would call it uh, message timestamp. So the string as a key and the value as the integer. So this would be message last ts. And uh, in the constructor, we are going to initialize it with a new hash map. So that's pretty much it for this uh, constructor. And the next one, when we try to decide whether we should print the message, uh, first of all, if it doesn't contain the thing, so if the message lost TS map, if it doesn't contain the key, which is the message, then you're going to return true, of course. And uh, we also need to make sure that uh, we put the key value pairing to the map. So key is a message, value is a timestamp. Otherwise, uh, if it contains the thing, uh, we are going to have, uh, so let's say last ts, last print ts as equal to get the message. So if the last print ts uh, plus 10 is, uh, well, if it's plus 9, if it is uh, larger, well, oh, okay, so if it is smaller than the timestamp, 
So if the timestamp, or maybe, uh, or maybe if the timestamp minus the last print ts, if it is smaller than ten, okay, then and this is more readable actually. So if it is smaller than ten, what we are going to do is we are just going to return false. Otherwise, we are going to update the map and also return true. Put a uh, message and the timestamp, and uh, we are going to return true here. So that's pretty much it about this piece of code. Let's do some testing on top of it. Oh, okay, so I should be put some typo here. Let's fix it. All right, so it seems to be good. Let's do some more testing. All right, so let's do a submission. Okay, so everything works well, and uh, that's it for this coding question. So if you have any question regarding the solution or regarding the code, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.